What's going on YouTube? Hockey on 4 here, back again with another episode. Um, I was only going to record two episodes, but I got into this whole Potown debacle with Team Skull, and my mind is just, I just want to play this game. So, we're going to continue, we're going to hop right into it. If you missed the last episode, go check it out. It was one hell of an episode. Um, in this episode, I don't know what shenanigans are going to go down. Oh god, there's a guy in the fucking car. Okay, one, two, hit three sandbag. Four, five, we ran six goals. Let's go. <laughs> anyway, um, but yeah, I got into this Team Skull shenanigans, and I am just, like, this place is amazing. It fits Team Skull so well. Um, it's walled in, which is really cool. Um, I'm really excited for this part of the game. Like... It's beautiful. This this part of the game is gorgeous. Um, it's a beautiful town that uh, they just took over and just decided to make their home, which is really cool. Um, Fomantis just got bodied. So I'm just playing because this game is so much fun. Let's go into two cannon. Um, I think I'm going to use two cannon for a little bit too. Um, he hasn't gotten much love because he was really high leveled and now he's a little bit under leveled so him and Komala are now the two that are under leveled um, let's use drill pack but yeah like I said this game has just been amazing so far and this town is just makes me want to play this game just non-stop I was actually considering on live streaming it and breaking up a couple episodes but I decided, you know what, let's go ahead and just record just one or two more episodes, just for fun. Oh, he's just chilling. What do you want? Moves like Horn Drill and Guillotine basically never hit when you want them to. That's it, I'm done with taking gambles. I'll kick this habit once and for all. You can put your money on me. Like, this town is just so creepy. And I love it. Let's see, what's over here? Is there anything over here? What's wrong with him? Doesn't see we're getting invaded here. <laughs> hey, that reminds me. Whatever happened to that guy who was always calling people numbskulls or whatever? I like how they don't even know what happened to their own like peers. So let's go ahead. Oh, jeez. I want to see what's going on over here real quick. Nothing over here. Because this is where Zygarde cubes are. Anyway. Let's see. I'm a straight shooter. Straight and simple as an arrow. Let's go ahead and head into this mansion real quick. Oh, Jesus. Into the shady house. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and explore a little bit. Let's go. Ooh, Pokeball. An ice stone. I wonder if that is how you evolve... Um, What's wrong with him? Why does he keep staring at me? Does he does he see how hot I am or something? Hey, you guys do you. Do you. Y'all look the same anyways. But. So we're back in the shady house. There's definitely something back there. I would want to explore every room of this house. Okay. What you want? Let's go. So sorry. As a stranger, you will get the full course of my Pokemon's moves. She wants to be a chef. Hey. Hey. This is like the coolest evil team yet. You know, like when they made Team Flare, they tried to make them like spunky and kind of humorous, but they didn't really do too good of a job. But these guys are just hilarious. I keep forgetting to switch fucking Salazzle out of the front. It's gonna be like level 50 by the time we get out of here if I don't do that. Shadow Ball. Holy shit. Shit, that did a lot. Okay. Flame burst, you're gone. Get out. Bye bye. No crit. Alright. Beat her. You got the full course. It's way too much seasoning. Alright, let's go ahead and switch our mons before they get to like level 9,000. I don't even have the fly EMZ. 
We've been collecting every shard. The last shard of Buggy and Z and Alola for Mr. Guzma. Also, Mr. Guzma can be sure the strongest Pokemon bug user around. I heard that Mr. Guzma never got a Z-Ring as a sort of handicap because he's too strong already. If that's what you believe, go for it. Because I'm pretty sure that that's most likely not true. Did I go the right way? No, I didn't. But, we got a heal powder. This house is really creepy. Like, this person, like, this is definitely Guzma's house. There's no way this is not Guzma's house. But we do have to try to find him because we were told to come here and battle Guzma. Got a max revive. Let's go. Can't even talk to him. That's a cool aesthetic, though. Like, the whole bedroom. Uh, leave me alone. I don't want to battle everybody, because I'm going to be busted over leveled if I do. There's nothing in any of these. This is just literally an empty room that I just came into for no fucking reason. How did she not battle me? We're going to head upstairs. Um, what's going on up here? Ooh. Sludge Bomb. Okay. I'm going to have to teach uh, Salazzle Sludge Bomb. Let's go ahead do that real quick because that is a 90 base power Venishock I think is 60 65 so pre marina can learn shadow ball that is actually pretty good um, fly psychic leech life I think we're good. I think we're good. I think we're good on TMs right now. But this is like a really creepy place. Like, all these rooms are like perfectly put together. Uh oh. OMG! Please don't tell me that my skull tank you're wearing. Oh, no wonder why it stinks. It's the same design though. It doesn't stink. That's a lovely aroma. Anyway, we should write our names on it so we don't mix it up. Um, hello, our names are all grunt. What's the point? Huh? Oh boy, I can't believe you're eavesdropping on us. I guess we'll have to teach him a lesson. Ugh. Okay. Okay, first off, I don't give a shit about your names. Don't matter. What the fuck you think you are? Alright, so we got Team Skullgrunt. A Rattata? You still have a Rattata? Are you fucking kidding me? Two cannon. Blow this man away real quick. A level 35 fucking Rattata. That does not make any sense. Fuck outta here. Let's go. Get blown the fuck back. Let's go. Let's see. How can I undo this development? Uh, you get the fuck away from me. That's what you do. How embarrassing. I guess I really just am a grunt. Whoa, whoa. That was like so uncool. Oh, are you kidding me? This is what happens when you explore, though, is you run into these stupid situations. At least they aren't, like, busted strong, so then, like, you're exploring, you walk in this room, and then you're forced to battle them, and they blow you back. Eradicate. Probably a level 34 or 36 or something. 34 or 36, and it's level 35. Okay. Literally, Drill Pack is just blowing all these Pokemon away. And we're only two levels above, and we're still battling Grunts. I feel like we're kind of underleveled. Um, we're probably going to get passed up real quick. We probably should have battled those trainers on Route 16 and 17, but I just kind of ran around them and then through the meadow. But whatever. Whatever. It's why we're here. Man. Uh, her skull tank was too tight for me. It was so distracting that I lost. It's all her fault. Yo, you guys are literally the same size. You guys wear the same shirt. So I'm going to try to find a way around him, too. I want that item. Man. Wait, did you just say Dockerock? What? It was like, Dockerock! I don't know if you guys heard that, but I did. We should be able to bop him real quick. Two cannon is pretty fucking strong. What do you got? Golbat? A Fomantis. Yep, it's going to get blown right the fuck back. 
they don't really have a clear-cut type of Pokemon like all of the evil teams have had like a specific type um, these guys just kind of use whatever the fuck they think is cool like they have Salandits, they have Fomantis, they've got bug type the leader does they got Golbats and type Nulls and it's really cool Anyway, what do you got? An iron? That was it? That's like $5,000 though, so that's pretty nice. He's got fucking beer bottles everywhere. He's an alcoholic. Damn it! I was hoping you wouldn't see me. Uninvited guest? Do you have an invitation? Uh, hell yeah. Yo, yo, yo! I wouldn't do their voice, but I've done it so many times. The yo, yo, yo! Voice, but... A Wimpod? I got a two cannon for you. Dun, 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 dun. He's about to get blown back. Wow. Alright, it's dead. Um, two cannon is just too fucking strong, my guys. Like, ah, oh, man. He is just blowing everybody back. He's like, oh. Chocolate dipped in syrup. You got like a banana ice cream. Let's go. I don't have any stat changes. Why would you do that? Now you're just get the fuck out of here. All right, we grew a level. Um, level 38. Let's go. With 113 attack, that is why he is blowing everybody out of here. Komala's level 37. I guess that attack was your alternative to an invitation. You attacked me, my guy. I was standing still, looking at this painting that is not there. Greetings, visitor. If you wish to meet with Master Guzma, then give me the three secret passwords. What move does he like best? Beat up. Tell me this month's second password. Which Pokemon does he like the best? Golisopod. Now tell me this month's third password. What drink does he like best? Uh, he definitely likes a moo moo milk. Are you sure about that? Yeah! Damn it. Okay, honestly, I think I had the first two right. I think those two are right. Let's see, the third password was he like best. I think he likes tea. He's a tea guy. Damn it. Look around the mansion. See what you can learn about the boss. Do I need to pay attention to these three rooms? Huh. Huh, huh, huh. Uh, that blows my mind. I am not sure. Hey, there's a Wii U. They got Wii U's here, man. They're playing Smash. Okay, I don't want to listen to this. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. This month's secret password is Golisopod. So Golisopod is one of the passwords. <laughs> I actually didn't even notice those papers on the floor, so there's probably a good reason why you're supposed to explore this place. I know one of the passwords was through here, because I saw a piece of paper on the floor and I think I just ran right by it. So I just thought it was like an aesthetic? Thought there was one in this room. Yeah. Tapu Coco! Okay. So you got Tapu Coco, Golisopod, and so the first one is his favorite move. And that should probably be over here, because I don't see why they would put that gentleman there then. Who sleeps there? That must suck. Taco Rock! I'm an incomplete grunt. It's the only place for me in this world. Okay. Da 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 da
Go. He got three Pokemon. Are you kidding me? He's got a Zubat. We should be able to beat blast it real fucking quick. Or not beat blast it. Uh, drill pack it. Probably level 30. Or level 34. Holy shit. He's got three level 34s. He's strong as hell. Wow. But Zubat got blown back. Should get like 200 experience. Yeah. Mudsdale's a level 39. Let's go. Got a Ghastly. This is a really cool place. I really enjoy this. Sucker Punch. I like that the Pokemon, I said it in the last episode, but when you Sucker Punch, the Pokemon that you're targeting starts using his animation. I think that's really cool. And a Salandit. Okay, that's a one, two, three. Easy money. Got level 35 Salandit too. Like, that was a crit, holy cow. All right. Defeated Team Skullground. This is a fitting outcome for me, incomplete as I am. The end. Oh, that's so sad. I actually feel kind of bad. Did I battle that lady? Did I? No, I didn't. Is there one outside? I'm assuming that it's beat up because that just seems like a very a very uh, Guzma like oh here we go beat up yep so it's beat up go Lissapod and Tapu Koko she's gonna fight me knew it damn it uh, I didn't want to battle her, but I guess if we got to, we got to. Uh, uh, go. Uh, uh, go. Alright, so we got a Marini. I'm gonna Beak Blast it. Because I should be able to Oko it, and Marini kind of scares me. Because I know how good Toxapex is. So we will see. Ding! And that's a special move, so he's not gonna get burned. But I am gonna blow it away with B class. So it's such a good move, but it's kind of hard to to pull it off, especially against like really good Pokemon, because then they can just blow you away real quick. So so we got the three passwords, and for some reason, despite how much I didn't want to, I battled every trainer in this building. So let's go ahead. Greetings, visitor. Yes. Beat up. Golisopod. Top of Coco. You think they're beat up Golisopod, Top of Coco? Are you sure about that? Yes. You think I'm that skull? Get out of here. Go home. It's not enough to get the. If you're serious about, then you should know how Team Skull works. Look around the mansion and see what you can learn about our great organization. What? Legs beat up. Golisopod. Top Coco. You think I am that thick skulled? Get out of here, go home. It's not enough to just get the secret passwords right, you numb skull. If you're serious about meeting, you should know how Team Skull works. Look around the mansion and see what you can learn about our great organization. So now I've got a head somewhere and. What? The chandelier on the ground. Okay. What do I need to learn? I'm so confused. Oh wait, I think we have to go talk to that one again because it had the extra writing on the bottom. The one down here. I wonder if you have to talk to it again. Remember, a true Team Skull member always, always... Oh! I see what I have to do now. Okay. Because I said yes, you're supposed to say no. Because Team Skull always... Always leads off with a hearty no. Okay. 
Try this again. Greetings, visitor, if you wish. No. Good. Glad to see you got no bones about... Fuck! Oh, that's when you have to say no. Okay. Okay. I got it. I got it. So, yes. Beat up. Golisopod. Tapu Coco. Are you sure about that? No. Ha ha ha. So, you know all his favorite things. You even knew to say no at the end. Yeah, you're one of us, Bonehead. We gotta head to the roof. This man hangs out on roofs. That's kind of cool. Can't go that way, so we have to go this way. What? That is so fucking sketchy. Especially when it's raining. Okay, she wants to battle. I'm not battling her. So this is Guzma's room. Oh my god, that's so dope. Okay, what do we got? What do we got? <laughs> the hated boss who beats you down and beats you up and never lets up. Yeah, big bad Guzma's here. <laughs> I don't really get you, kid, but at least this is a place, a kind of pace. It's not every day someone comes straight to me for a beating. Oh, young Goose, how sweet of you to help on a sad little girl. <laughs> and you came all the way just for that, huh? Can't you just watch out your own Pokemon and stay out of other people's business? <laughs> You're one messed up kid. You want to know what I do when the machine messes up? First thing I do is give it a nice hard smack. I mean, most of the time I smash it to pieces, but hey, what can you do? Now let's see if I can't fix you. All right, now we got Guzma. Let's go. Oh, I'm so excited. Go, uh, go, uh, uh, go. Yo, he is so dope. He's got a Glissapod. Fuck it up, two cannon. Fuck it up! Fuck it up! Fuck it up! We're gonna beat. It's level 37! We're literally right on par. Which is insane. He's razor shell, so he's gonna get burned. Does it kill? Fuck it, burn. It killed. We got the burn, I guess. That's okay. Uh oh. Uh oh. Yo, he is gonna blow me right away. I forgot to heal. And I didn't realize he was going to be level 37. He should. He's going to outspeed us. I know that for a fact. Is he? I don't know. We're going to hyper potion though. We should be able to live one, at least one hit. I want to see how much it's going to do with the burn. Nothing. Get the fuck out of here. use Z breakneck blitz let's go uh 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 bang bang Gucci bang bang let's go so he's gonna use his full Z force the breakneck blitz Shoom. kick him right in his fucking face bop it's actually like right like a crotch shot Emergency exit, so he switches out. The second Pokemon is an Ariados. Oh, that should be easy. Bam, bam. Let's go. Fell Stinger. Doesn't that get stronger as you use it? I think that's what it does. Oh, Komala! Come on. I need to get the lucky. Nope. So he's down. Oh no, it's Fury Cutter that gets stronger as you use it. That was a crit, too. Komala, you kind of got blown back. Wait, does he have... He's gotta be holding an item that makes him like uber strong. Like very similar to the ability Moxie, he's gotta be holding an item that's similar, so. Flame burst him. Sucker punch, I'm dead. Yo, I'm getting fucked up. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Free Marina, it's your time. Oh, oh. So can I put him to sleep? 
You go for sucker. Oh, shadow sneak. Oh god, I think I'm dead again. Oh no, I, I ate that up. Go to fucking sleep, you nugget. Alright, now I can just go for sparkling Aria. Should be good. Um, should be able to blop, bop him real quick. Bop. Okay, so that's gonna be a two hit KO. Uh, yeah, let's just go for it again. Ba, ba, ba. All right, so we beat Aridos. We're good, we're good. We got this, this is easy. Especially since Golos Pod's slow is all get out. We should be able to bop them real quick. Uh, uh, first impression? Okay, we ate that up. I was like, wait, what? So Glispa's down. So we beat Guzma, no problem. Kind of, he kind of gave us the work a little bit though. Primarina's at level 40, our first Pokemon in the 40s. Serena's at level 39. Yeah, yeah, I gotta admit, that was great! Yo, yo, let's go. Yo, yo. Guzma, what is wrong with you? Yo, give that Pokemon to the kid, now! I'm gonna beat you down one of these days, no matter whose help I need to do it. Okay. What's in here? A buggy, a buginium Z. Okay. Excuse me, B. But but you're not the boss. What's the deal, homie? You're not the boss of me. That is such a cool little thing. You can sit in his chair and then somebody comes up. That's like such an adorable little like add-on. I love it. So we got the Buganium Z. So we are just rolling. Um, let's go ahead and head out of here. Looks like all the Team Skull members fled. At least I didn't see him in the room. Um, oh no, they're still here. Never mind. Go, yo. Go, uh, uh, yo. <sighs> you. <sighs> you. Have I got, have I got you to thank for this? <laughs> Things must have been scared half to death by a wretch like me. I'm just like, my like thousand, uh, thousand mile stare. What a lot of hassle. A trial goer, huh? Figures. Look, I'm not gonna fight someone who's taking out Team Skull. I held your Pokemon up, so go. Just go. Though, looking around now, seems there are fewer Team Skull folks around today than usual, huh? I guess someone might have run off to see their boss get beat. Uncle Nanu! And here comes that noise again. I'm so sorry, you must have been so scared. Fuck, really, you're really something. Uncle, you're a great police officer, aren't you? I really hope you keep a good eye on things here. Why don't you say, if you're not gonna put the Scop Steam Skull shenanigans? The rent's real cheap. No one else is really crazy enough to stay close to Team Skull after all. That's what you say, but it's all really for Pokemon, isn't it? You can depend on Aether Foundation to look after Pokemon that Team Skull hurts, but you stay here and look out for them, huh? Come on, you and Goose, let's get back to the Aether house. So they take off. So that is her uncle. I'll come back to see you soon, Uncle. No one's asking you to. Damn. Fucked. Get fucked. I have the Aether house when you're done. Alola! So I gotta go back to the Aether house. Pokemon tucked in their Pokeballs. Team Skull locked them up in their little town. Wonder if the either enjoys the experience. So he, like, doesn't like the fact that Pokemon are things. Can we go through here now, or do we have to go all the way around? These should be open. Yes, they removed the little barricades. Thank you, Pokemon. You did the right thing. Because if I had to go all the way around the fucking town again, I would have been just a little pissed. Alright, I'll give her ten bucks to heal. Oh, no! 
I think he said that he healed us. Right? Yeah. Thank you, uh, Uncle Nanu. You are the best. So here's a couple Team Skull guys. Oh, they're just looking up. Oh, those were the gatekeepers. Okay. So, after all that shenanigans, we have to head back to the Aether House. Um, with that being the case, I'm going to end off today's episode right about here. Um, actually, I'm going to use Charizard Glide to fly back. Um, because that'll make it easier. So, let's see. We gotta head... To here. Damn, we went far away. So, that was a really, really cool part of the game. I really enjoyed it. But on that note, we are gonna end off today's episode right here, folks. If you guys enjoyed, be sure to be like, a comment, and subscribe if you're new to the channel. Oh, your support is greatly appreciated. And on that note, I'm getting out of here. Have yourselves a very, very wonderful week. And I'll see you guys in the next episode.